We're going to take a look at the Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano earthquakes again today and the Nevada huge number of quakes, hundreds of them again today. This is an area that uh, something shows us that something is going on. We know that Long Valley is one of the high threat volcanoes of California. It's actually classified by USGS as a very high threat volcano. It has inflation, it's in being inflating, it's inflating, it's deforming, and this is the area that we have on the uh, area east of Mono Lake and the area of Long Valley Caldera. We know that it had a super eruption 760,000 years ago. This is a mantle plume that stretches also the eastern mantle plume through Salt Lake into Yellowstone making a right uh, west turn into uh, the area of Idaho. And Idaho, we know, has nine volcanoes in that area. Let's take a look at the map so we can have a better idea what's going on. Here we are again at Sosmo Berkeley, and this is our Long Valley Caldera area, the supervolcano area here, Mono Lake, Mammoth Lake, Long Valley. This is all the Long Valley, this the whole thing here is Long Valley Caldera. It's not just uh, California. It's this is California. This is a borderline California, Nevada. Here we are at uh, Volcano Discovery, right here. Long Valley Caldera, the 17 by 32 kilometer Long Valley Caldera east of the central Sierra Nevada range, California, is a result of a giant explosive eruption that happened 670,000 years ago and formed the widespread and voluminous Bishop Tuff. The caldera has been showing unrest in recent years in the form of deformation of the caldera floor and earthquake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles. In order to better understand and monitor the caldera possible future changes, USGS established the Long Valley Observatory. And this is the map of it. That's Mono Lake that we saw. And this is uh, Mammoth Lakes. This is the area right here, Mammoth Lakes, the Mono Lake area, Mammoth Lakes. And this area here is where the legend is. This where the legend we have here is where we have our Nevada earthquakes. This, week, this whole area is Long Valley. The simplified geologic map, Long Valley Caldera, the Mano Inyo Craters volcanic chain, and uh, the background with Bishop Tuff formation uh, that uh, was formed 760,000 years ago from the super eruption. So the smaller explosive eruptions of rhyodacite pumice occurred as well from outer ring fracture events and the last activity was about 50,000 years ago. In this early history the caldera contained a large lake where the new lava dome formed an island. Beach deposits can be seen on the caldera walls today and later the lake drained through the Owens River Gorge which is basically north of Ridgecrest. Let's pan out a little bit, and we have the Owens, here, Owens Valley. We saw that before. Sorry, I went up too fast. There's Owens Valley. Okay, that's how it drained this way, and this is our Ridgecrest area. Again, we have the quick swarms there as well. Now, going back to this, there we go. And uh, this is our area of today's quakes. The blue is today's quakes, hundreds of them, as you, again, as you can see. The red is the past hour, and the yellow is the past week. Thousands of them. Now, the Nevada volcanoes, we can see here, the closest ones to our uh, Long Valley is uh, Adobe Hills. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 at least. Okay? Lunar Crater Volcanic Field Zone of Volcanism covering 300 square kilometers, southern end of Pancake Ridge, Great Basin D Desert, Nevada. And we have the, uh, where's the other one? Or Bodhi, do we have anything more here? This is our closest to the Long Valley Caldera area. It's a volcanic field near uh, the California border, north northeast of Mono Lake. There's Mono Lake, right there. So basically, it's just a little bit northeast of the area. That's the volcano, That's but our quake swarm is around here. 
But the whole thing is, as we can see, is full of volcanoes in that area. So that's that specific one, the Aurora Bodhi. Now, uh, with these volcanoes, because there's magma there. Now, it's uh, near Mono Lake, contains well-preserved cinder cones and lava flow of late Pleistocene age. The most prominent feature of the Aurora Crater is 25,000 years before present, so 25,000 years ago, cinder cones surrounded by lava flows. Mud Spring Volcano is another late Pleistocene vent with a well-preserved lava flow. Older volcanics of the field include Pliocene and acidic lava flow. So even though we had the um, most recent Long Valley Caldera 50,000 years ago, we see that the nearby Earth, uh, one of them, okay, that we just picked, uh, was 25,000 years ago. So shall we see what the other ones, if they have any information about when the other ones, uh, Buffalo Valley is here, up, up here, towards, um, that would be towards uh, Idaho. Uh, okay, this is uh, Great Salt Lake, that's Utah. Idaho is up here. Craters of the Moon, that's Idaho right there. That's where we had the 6.5 earthquake on March 31st. Salt Lake City is where we had the 5.7 earthquake on March 18. And uh, we had 5.5 uh, a couple of days ago in this area of uh, Nevada. So you can see, that, I mean, that something's going on there. So let's go see the Buffalo Valley volcano. Group of cinder cones and lava flows, Buffalo Valley. Um, so that, that, that range was ages uh, 3 million to almost 1 million years ago. So that's much older than the um, Adobe Hills. Clayton Valley. How old is that one? Clayton Valley. That's more south of... Uh, more south of uh, there, that's it right there. That's Mono Lake right there. Solitary Cinder Cone, Clayton Valley, about uh, 390,000 years ago. And that says there. So you see there are various ages. Shall we go to Crater Flat? Where's Crater, Crater Flat here? It's not here. Lunar Crater, but Crater Flat. You can see that's, that means that there's, it's a volcanic field, it says here. South of the Miocene Timber Mountain uh, Caldera. Where is uh, Mono Lake? There's Mono Lake right there. Carson City, Nevada, that's Mono Lake. So it's basically South Nevada. So uh, contains five quaternary cinder cones and lava flows, the youngest cone. Lathrop Wells scoria cone was about 80,000 years ago. Okay, so you can see various ages here. Let's go to the Sheldon Antelope. Sheldon Antelope, that's, oh, that's all the way up here near uh, Oregon. Okay, Shelton, and we have Soda Lake. Shelton Antelope was, that's near Oregon, near Nevada, Oregon border. Small shield volcano. Small shield volcano. It's a shield volcano. The only possible potassium argon age is zero, uh, 1.2 million years ago. Shield volcano is uh, also the uh, Mauna Loa is a shield volcano as well. So you can see that we have um, a tremendous amount of activity here. That's what I wanted to show you. Idaho. 3.1 Stanley, Idaho uh, is what I picked here. Here's where we have it, and let's go to our aerial population. We don't have too many uh, people living out there, so there you can see. That's a fault line right there, Idaho. Why am I showing you Idaho? Okay, anyway, that's Idaho. Maybe it's an old, I have it there, I made a mistake. I have it there from an older earth, that's Yellowstone, that's Idaho, that's today's Idaho earthquake. Craters of the Moon, you can see that beautiful lava flow. That's Salt Lake City right there. And this is Mono Lake right there. And that's all Long Valley Caldera. And this is our area. Uh, obviously, these are old historic uh, um, plots of earthquakes, but um, 
this is our area of the quake swarms that we have. So what do these quake swarms mean? Let's go back. Uh, let's take out, these are all the quake. Let's take out the ones that are a lot, a lot bigger so we can uh, see what's happening today with the bigger ones. It takes a few seconds. Okay, there we go, 3.1. So, okay, nobody's uh, reported freely because there's hardly anybody living there, as we said before. Aerial tectonics and the population. Yeah, there's nobody living there. So you can see that's Long Valley Caldera. It has a geothermal plant there, too. So all of you there, please be very careful because we see that we have... Um, Tremendous amount of earthquakes there. This one was 4.8 on the 8th of June. Okay. So it looks like there's some kind of, um, uh, as we know, there's it's full of volcanoes there. So we do have magma under there. We know that. Uh, this is the area of the uh, subduction zone, San Andreas Fault. Walker Lane fault system. We have magma under there, both areas, and we have high threat volcanoes here under California. And this is where that mantle plume is coming from, from Baja, California. The western part goes here, San Andreas and, and Walker Lane fault system. The eastern part goes through Salt Lake into Yellowstone, then turns west into Idaho. It's like an imaginary seven. It's like a, an imaginary seven that eastern arm of the mantle plume. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.